Good morning. It is Friday. I am currently in the studio, but I'm about to head out because we are today shooting on location. We're shooting some furniture, um, kind of interesting furniture if you're into furniture as well. Um, but I'm going to take you along for the ride. I'm going to show you what we're doing. This is a test shoot. It's not a paid job. It's not a commercial job. This is me trying to take my current style of work and apply it to other, other genres, I guess. So come along with me and let's see what happens. Now, I'm sure your parents told you breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Now, this chaos I've created here is a protein powder, lean greens, coconut milk, banana, and some frozen tropical fruit all blended together. That is my emergency. I'm in a rush breakfast. And then in here are 16 grams of coffee beans that are now heading over for a quick coffee whilst I sort out my kit and get it loaded in. Now this is me traveling light. This is this is my kit. I'm going to quickly show you around it. It's going to be a bit shaky camera, so apologies in advance. Uh, the heart of the kit is within this aperture bag, but it's not aperture lighting. It's just that aperture make really good bags. I've got two Broncolor heads and a Godox 1200 watt head, so a couple of big options in there. I'm just taking an old Primo pack because we don't need any good flash durations, and then a Godox pack. Hopefully going to use... I don't know which one I'm going to use. We'll see how it goes. I've then got one, two, three, four, five C stands, five C stand bases, only two boom arms, because I'm only going to need two of them. I've got my mini C stand all set up with the RoboCup, uh, a V mount battery so we can power computers and iPads and stuff on that. Sandbags, because we definitely need those. I've got some collapsible scrims. These are the modifiers I'm using. These are, I always get this wrong, I think the P70s or P65s are the big ones. These are lovely. So we've got some of those. Then camera wise, this is the case for the camera I'm filming this on, which is quite literally a point and shoot. And this is the main camera bag. We've got two 5DSRs, a 100mm Milvus, and then a 35 should I want to get a wide shot, which I probably won't. So 5DSR, 100mm Milvus Macro Plan R. And then the biggest tripod I've got that I can move. Um, so this usually has my big 6K camera on this one here, but today it's going to have my, my little Canon camera. And then this is my M, what's this called? M42 bag. This is my satchel. So we've got my laptops, iPads, notebooks, you know, your day-to-day -day stuff. So this is what we're taking. I've got to try and get it all into my Kia Picanto. I did want to take some 3200 watt heads and packs but I don't think my little car can take the weight load. So this is what we're going with. But yeah, coffee first, then loading out. I should also add that because of the nature of today's shoot, I'm not going to be showing you how I do it. I'm just going to be showing you what I do. Um, it's a bit it's a bit run and gun today. We're a bit bit up against it. I need these coffee beans. I'm not sure why I'm putting them down there. Coffee. Um, so yeah, it's not going to be a, this is how you do it. It's just going to be a more, this is what we do. Um, and I'm only taking this little point and shoot camera, my big camera. That's staying here. But anyway, we're going to go do the shoot. But yeah, coffee. Definitely need coffee. I've done the school run already, so I'm kind of tired, but not, not caffeinated. So let's do that. I can't remember where these beans are from, but they were gifted to me um, from an assistant of mine. He just turned up one day with beans at the best possible moment because I quite literally didn't have beans. Anyway, 16 grams in, 250 grams out. That's what we're going for here. Already pretty hot and sweaty. I now remember why I tend to have an assistant with me usually. This is not an ideal start to a day, but there we go. Let's crack on and load all of this. All of this into my tiny little Kia. Right then, the car's loaded up. So uh, we're off to the studio. When I say studio, this is not a photo studio. We're going to a, a creative studio. She upholsters 
find or she finds upholsters and sort of makes new these designer vintage chairs she gets hold of and that's what we're going to be photographing today so i'm going to head over there unload all of this stuff again do the shoot get back and the least favorite part for me will be getting it all back into the studio because i need it all ship shape for work work tomorrow so yes let's let's go we're all set So we've just finished shooting, we're packing up. My backup is going on as we speak, and then I'm gonna take the whole lot back to the studio, get it onto the main system, and generally tidy everything away. But here is my, my backup going on, so it's just a standard SSD. This one's drive one. This will then go onto drive two, and then we'll delete it from the laptop once I finish the work on it. There we go, all set. Just got to lug this little pile back down to the car and repeat the process. So, so I'm very much a sweaty mess now. I smell pretty bad. I've got all the kit in, um, but I'm not putting it away today. We'll leave that for an assistant on Monday. But what I do need to do now is take this, drive one, and we're gonna take this and we're gonna upload it onto the main system so it's all backed up. And I'm gonna send the files that need retouching to my editor. He's gonna crack on with those in the next video. We'll have a little look at them. We'll see what we won, what went well, what went bad, and maybe talk a bit about color grading. Anyway, to the office. So 11 minutes past four, we have finished the shoot. This drive here, drive one, which is a copy of the shoot, is now gonna go into the Kingston dock, like so. And that is gonna ingest into here and onto my offsite backup here that will go home with me later. And then everything in there also backs up onto Backblaze. So we will be cooking on gas. Now this sheet itself was a, a, t a test of concept. I want to see whether I can apply my food and drink work to chairs. Um, and there's more of this over on my Patreon account. This is just a bit of a, let's see what we can do. But I thought I'd bring you along for the ride, give you a bit of an idea as to what goes on on a shoot. I didn't tell you how we did it, why we did it. This was just a, have a look, have a look. And also I think what's interesting here is that on this particular shoot, there was no budget. So it was just me and the person who upholsters the chairs. There was no crew, there's no assistance. Yes, they're being professionally retouched, but it's perfectly attainable. I needed two lights, a camera, a 100 mil lens, that's all I used all day. So two 1600 watt lights, a, and the only reason we did that was because the building was so bright and we had to overpower the sun. 
And then yeah, 100 mil lens, F13, 100 ISO, 160th of a second, cooking all day. It was lovely. It was very hot. I'm very sweaty and stinky, but we're all good. We're all happy. So yes, let, let's let's crack on. Thank you. 